This is the plaintiff, Edwin Matei. He says the defendant babysat his dog and then gave it to someone else behind his back. The defendant can't just give his dog away. Who even does something like that? He's suing for $5,000, $2,000 for the cost of the dog, and $3,000 for his pain and suffering over the loss. This is the defendant, Miriam Kelly. She says she and the plaintiff had a friendship together, and he gave the dog away because his wife didn't want the thing in her house. Now all of a sudden he wants the dog back? In fact, he's only suing her because he's upset she doesn't want him in her life anymore. And this is the way he's getting back at her with a lawsuit. She's accused of pilfering a pooch. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $5,000 for pain and suffering. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant was supposed to babysit his dog, and instead she got rid of it. But the defendant says she actually did a good deed. It's the case of a dog on Edwin Matai. 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 You are suing Miriam Kelly for $5,000 in damages that you say you have incurred as a result of her giving away your dog. Yes. Tell me what happened. Well, um, Miriam and I met at work, and me and her quickly became friends. And um, one of our many conversations was about, you know, about a dog, because I had I had received a letter from management from where I live at, stating that if my dog was over forty five pounds, that I had to get rid of him. If not, then I would be evicted. What kind of dog is this? He's a um, blue nose pit bull. He's a pit bull. And how long had you had your pit bull? About a year. About a year. Yes. So you get the letter from management. Yes. So now it's a problem. Yes. All right. Because, and then what? Because um, when I when I first had him, he was a puppy. Yeah, I know. So, That's how it works. Yeah. So he was grown. <laughs> I know. Somebody, I wish you somebody know. had told me that about the kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know, like he was. Because that first day you go to wake up your baby and then a size nine foot comes out from under that sheet. That's a shocker. All right. No. Go ahead. So um, she had to me a favor, took him in until I had found somewhere to place him at. For how and long? It was indefinite until until I had found somewhere for him to go. Cause I was so having- So it could be 10 years. Yeah. And then you yanked the dog away. Yeah, I mean, you know, she, she had- um, Okay, I, I assume that you do not uh, concur with that set of facts that you were to hold the dog indefinitely. No. Okay, what do you say you agreed to do for him? I, w I agreed to watch the dog. For how long? For two months. He was taking okay. the dog to And then school. after two months, what happened? Um, it, it started increasing to more days and more days and weeks until I had no choice but to take him to the shelter. Okay, but why wouldn't you just call him and tell him, come pick up your dog? I called him numerous of times. We got, at the same day, August 23rd, we got let go from our job. So I've been calling him and texting him, you know, because my daughter started to break out and he's been doing Break out meaning allergic to the dog? I'm guessing so, because she had bumps on her arms and neck. And he was destroying my carpets. I had to pay for them, okay? Now, when and are you calling and texting him? During the two months or after the two months? During the two months. Well, aren't you seeing well, him no, at work, though? Like for the, the first two months, aren't you seeing him at work? Well, yeah, we was together yeah, So how come you time. don't just talk? What's going on? What am I missing? <sighs> okay. Um, me and the plaintiff, we had... Sexual. Did you you had an affair with him? Yes. Are you I married? Did. No. Okay. Are you married? No. Okay. Why isn't that just a relationship then? Why is that an affair? Because he had a girlfriend at home. Oh, okay. Is the girlfriend in the room? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does she watch people's court? I hope not. Because maybe that was, you I hope, hope not? not. Yeah. Well, I hope she does. <laughs> and if she doesn't, she's going to hear about it. Okay. So, had it, when did it break off? Like, the ending, like the ending of August. Yeah. Who broke it off? Well, you can't even say it was a broker, but we haven't really spoke, so I had distanced myself from him. Whose choice was it, do you think? Um, I can say his. Okay. And then all of a sudden, you can't reach him to give him back his dog? Mm-hmm. Because I've been calling him, texting him, and he hasn't returned my calls. Okay. Well, did you receive calls and texts about no. taking the dog back? No. 
Okay, can you prove that you called and texted him? Do you have your phone? Um, I had a phone at the time, but it was missing. It's gone. So you have no proof that you ever tried to reach him? No. When did you take the dog? What did you do with the dog? I sent him to the shelter. Okay, now you tell me, when more than two months passed, did you have any inkling that she was going to be giving away the dog? No. How did you first learn that your dog wasn't around? Well, because um, I was calling her and telling her, give me the dog because I got some, somewhere for him to go. Can you prove that you were calling her and telling her that and when you were doing that? Uh, I mean, I got some text messages, but yeah, let me these, see are, these are recent. It's no, like, I don't. Well, I don't know. I might want to see those, but they're, they're not going to help me. Why don't you have the earlier ones? <laughs> Because I didn't know that, you know, that we yeah, were going to be going to court and all that. Yeah, but that. you didn't lose your phone, dog no, ain't no, my no. homework. I mean, you don't I have didn't. that whole thing. No, no, no. I had um, deleted it. Deleted it. Yeah. Did you know where the guy lived? What guy? Him. Oh, yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know where he lived. Why didn't you just go with the dog and, you know, to his house and say, take your dog. Here's your leash. His girlfriend was there. So and what? I but don't know if I he understand was there. what you're saying, and maybe it's uncomfortable, but how could it be more uncomfortable than giving away the guy's dog to a shelter? Okay. Um, I mean, unless you did it on purpose to hurt no, him. No, I did not. Be well, but then tell me how it is that somebody in your position would have a dog, you don't want the dog, it's over between you, and you don't take the dog to him and hand it to him, other than to hurt him. What other possible reason could there be besides to just get back at him? I mean, do you hear yourself? Do you hear how vindictive you sound then? So, I don't know. I'm gonna take a wild guess. Does this sound like revenge to you? Absolutely. She was trying to hurt his feelings, trying to get him. Worse than hurt his feelings. She yeah. took his dog away. Yeah, what can you do? He's, he's obviously uh, upset with the situation. She's upset, so she's taking uh, action. How heinous is it to give somebody's dog away out of spite? Absolutely heinous. I would just hate it. I would, I'd be like, why did you do that? You would have to hold me yeah. back yeah. <laughs> going inside the courtroom. This is from you a few days ago. I, he says, give Smokey back to me and we don't have to go to court. You respond, I told you, he in the shelter, okay? I told you from jump, did I or did I not say you had to get him ASAP and you have to have proof he was yours? I told you, I will buy you a dog or whatever if he not there, but you're going to court for a dog. What's SMH stand for? Shaking my head. Got it. I knew that. Shaking my kids don't use that one, so I don't know. Shaking my head, but it's on you. A dog is not smoky. I want my dog back, not just a dog. Someone took him from the shelter, she says to you. Did you call the, the shelter and someone had No, I went to the shelter. And you what happened? There's no number. You go there. And what happened? Somebody took him on the 14th. And they wouldn't give you the name of whoever got him? No. That person's not going to have anything to do. They're not going to give you yeah. back the dog that's been in their house. It's, if it had a chip, then he could. But he didn't have a chip in him, so. One of the things that she says in the text is, I told you time and time again to pick him up and you don't say, no, you didn't. She's sitting up here claiming that she called me time and time again. Every time I call her, I was getting her answer machine. Right? And then she would tell me, oh, the dog is downtown Brooklyn. All right, let's go get him. Then she tells me another one. The dog is in Long those Island. Those are the ones you didn't say? No, but those wasn't text messages. Those was actual conversations. Why'd you delete them? The conversations? Or no? Yeah. In other words, I'm trying to wonder why someone who clearly has had $5,000 worth of loss mm -hmm. would delete the proof. Because I ain't want no trouble at home. That's oh, why. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Silly. Silly you, yeah, yeah. look at you now. Yeah. Take a look at yeah. you now. I know, but like what I said. What do you think of you now? Because <laughs> you're not only in court over it, mm -hmm. uh, but you're on people's court over it. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna hope, that nobody who she knows watches people's court? I hope not. Fat chest, <laughs> my friend. Well, we've been on a long time, I know. and we're popular. I know. <laughs> you have a counterclaim against him for five grand for what? Okay, um, harassment. What harassment? The guy wants okay. his dog? That harassment? No, no. What? He's just been sending me text messages and threatening ones. Okay, can I see those? Yes, you can. March 1st, you better have my dog by tomorrow or you're gonna blanking see, you stupid blank. Mm. You, I'm not having him, period, you stupid fat blank. Um, you wow, you sound really you harassed. Sound you did the wrong thing, punk, you say to him. Yeah, you sound very intimidated. <laughs> a lot of cursing, a lot of insulting. Each time he says, you better hope your bite is bigger than your bark, you better go get my dog. 
you just type LMAO, LMFAO, LMAO, <laughs> LMFAO over and over and over. And you don't want me to think you deliberately got rid of his dog to get him back for dumping you? He never dumped me. Oh, it sure sounds like you're angry. <laughs> I got rid of your dog. <laughs> what am I supposed to read from this test? Not the one you wanted to show me, but the one I scrolled up to see. Other than that. Why are you in March sending texts saying, give me my dog? What happened to you trying to get the dog in September? Because I didn't find out where the dog was at until No, but all, you, a you don't few even know where the ago. dog, stop and listen. You don't even know where the dog is at when you're sending these texts. Why no. is it March when you're saying, where's the dog, where's the dog, where's the dog? You better tell me where the dog is, better give me my dog. Why is it March when you're doing that? You understand what I'm saying? No. I expect to see these texts in September, not in March. You sent him a text, did I not tell you in October, December, and so on, that he's at Linden Boulevard. I kept telling you, and you always said, go get him. No, you go get him. He'd been in my house since June, okay? Oh, that's interesting. Then you text her, if you say anything about what we were doing while we were in court, I am going to... I have video of you, so I suggest you watch what you say. Trust me. You wouldn't want your parents and boyfriend to see this. Is that your boyfriend? Yeah. You wouldn't want your parents and boyfriend to see this stuff. I'll just say stuff. I have one too of you and your body part. You got a picture. I have a video of you and me. This is why whenever anybody hands me their phone, I scroll. Because you really get a flavor yeah. of the things that happen. First of all, you are not some harassed little victim who did her best and didn't know what to do. You are a vindictive, manipulative witch. And what you did deliberately was to hurt him because this man wasn't giving you the time of day. On the plus side, she seems to like you. So this would be very easy if I could just rule now, pay this man because you deliberately gave away the dog. But I have a problem that I can't seem to escape. And the problem is that if someone has a right to do something that they do, even if they do it maliciously, then they have a right to do something that they do. And I'm having serious problems with the texts that I'm reading in March. Because when I read texts from both places and the texts talk about, where's my dog? Where's my dog? Where's my dog? In March. And I read texts from her that say to you, I told you time and time again in November, in December, to pick up your dog in September, and you ignored me. And I don't see a response from you saying, no, you didn't. I've been trying to reach you for four months. And I don't see what I, see, here's what a, do, a person who loves their dog and wants a dog back does. What they do is they call the police the minute that they find out what's going on with their dog. I mean, you're, t you're trying to tell me that you are, there's only two possibilities. Between August when you got laid off to March when, I'm, when all of a sudden you're hustling to get the dog. The one possibility is you're still in contact with her, in which case, go get your dog. Go get the cops. Go get your dog. You know the dog's not there. You're not seeing the dog all those months. Or you're not in contact with her, and you abandon the dog. Either way, it looks like you abandon the dog when all those months pass. I can't ignore the stuff I read where she keeps pointing out that she had called you. Whatever I think of her as a human, what am I supposed to do with the fact that you just let this thing drag on and on and on? And the answer is that legally I cannot ignore it. Therefore, on your lawsuit against her, I find in her favor. On your laughable lawsuit against him, I find in his favor. And you know what? I think the dog, frankly, is probably in a better place right now. It's someone who would hustle to find the dog. All right, just hold on where you are. So Judge Millian rules that it's an abandonment of that dog on your part. What's your reaction to hearing this come out? Well, I think that um, the whole thing wasn't fair, you know, and... Why didn't you respond? You should have gone and picked up the dog. Sounds like she was asking you to do well, that. I was, no, see, I was trying to do that months, for, for months already, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just that she didn't save none of those text messages, you know. All right, head right down right, there, okay? All right, come on out here and tell me. Um, well, whatever your motives were, at least legally you get away with this. What, what's your feeling here? I have no feelings. No? It's, all, it's okay. Did you give it away to get back at him for breaking up? No, because actually he's the one that was after me. I wasn't after him. So that's how it went. Okay, Harvey. 
Okay, Kurt, abandonment, there's no easy answer to this. There's no magic time when something is abandoned. It depends on all of the circumstances, and it even varies from city to city in terms of what the rules are. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.